Hi, I'm Prithi Mystery. I'm a chef, author, and activist, and today I'm going to be taste testing some grocery store instant Indian meals. The thing I love the most about Indian food is the pow of the different spices. Like, I'm a Libra, and so balance is really important to me. When I'm making a masala, I'm thinking about the sweet, salty, spicy, tangy, etc. There is a fine balance when it all works that just evens out all of those different sort of powerful flavors. Nice and chunky. For how tangy it, the aroma is, I'm expecting more sort of acid, but it's actually just kind of creamy and spicy. For like a, you know, middle of the road Indian restaurant, I don't think you would get anything that much better than this. I feel like, it, you know, I would want to add a little more salt and lemon juice, maybe some fresh cilantro. I think out of five stars, I would give this dal probably three and a quarter, three and a half. I feel like this is something I could add a little bit more spice to and a little more salt and lemon juice and I would be perfectly happy with it, quite honestly. It looks like a chicken curry I would get like in an airplane. Let's go rice and sauce first, just to kind of get a... Rice is very sticky, a little mushy, kind of textureless. The only spice I really get is black pepper. The texture of the chicken is very, it's not tough. It's a little stringy. I don't really get any Indian flavor at all. It just kind of tastes like braised chicken in tomato sauce. I would give this half a star. Texturally, it's challenged. Boiled chicken, sticky, um, kind of mushy rice. It definitely needs salt and acid, but it also needs just some sort of nuanced spice to think. Like if I closed my eyes and somebody gave this to me and told me it was like some Italian chicken, I'd be like, okay. Full disclosure, I have met Suki and her whole family. They're very nice people. I am excited to try this because I love samosas. Who doesn't love samosas? Look at that, it's crispy. Ooh, look at brown. Let's see here. The pastry is quite good. The interior so far, I get more uh, nuanced spice, but it still feels like it's lacking in salt, but let's maybe try dipping it in the chutney and see if that helps with the salt. I feel like someone who is spice averse would probably love this. I would give the chicken tikka masala samosas two and a quarter stars. I'm really wanting more salt and spice. The texture is great. The pastry is fantastic. I feel like I want more pow. All right, mm. it actually smells quite good. This is also Sookie's, but this is chicken tikka masala with naan bread, it's called on the box, which is redundant, but I understand trying to meet your customer where they're at. Let's see. I don't want to burn my tongue. The flavor, mm, you get a lot of clove, cinnamon, mm, definitely the fenugreek, ginger. I would say the biggest issue I have right now is just that it really needs more salt. Let's try some rice. Now the rice also, I'll give you a look at that. It looks a lot um, more like separate grains as opposed to the signature select that sort of look like kind of mushy, sticky. Texturally so far, I feel like this is the best thing we've had. Now let's try the naan. Again, got some nice browning on the back there, you can see. I love naan. Now, bread in a microwave is gonna be chewy, so there's nothing crispy about this, like a regular naan that you get out of a tandoor. It'd be like crisp on the edges and soft. This is a little bit more like soft and chewy. Just kinda get the... Chewy. If I got this naan in here, I would just throw it in the toaster. I think I would give this one, because of the lack of salt and spice. I'm gonna go three and a half. The variety of starches, the bread and the rice, I think is a bonus. If you were to toast the naan, I think you'd get probably the best sort of, you know, grocery store naan experience. And the curry just needs to be boosted a little bit. I think if you are buying these meals and you like them and you want to go a little bit deeper in your enjoyment or appreciation or understanding of Indian cuisine, I would definitely say go to your local Indian restaurant because even if it's mediocre, it's probably gonna be 10 times better than anything I just tasted.